I'm Dr. Jim Garidi, and I'm a physician with Vein Clinics of America. So a varicose vein is a larger vein that stretches and stretches and stretches to the point where it typically bulges through the skin and you can start to see these abnormal bulges along your legs. A spider vein is the same concept except it's a much, much smaller vein that typically is essentially invisible to the eye right on the very surface of the skin. When it stretches, then it starts to look like a pink or a red or a purple line on the surface of the skin. The primary factors that we've been able to verify on recurrent studies have been primarily family history. If you have that genetic predisposition to the vein wall stretching, the elastic not being able to tolerate the pressure, then anytime you put extra pressure on the vein, then the vein may stretch. Despite common perceptions that this is a problem of only women, men have this problem as well. We use techniques that are minimally invasive, that allow folks to go back to their normal daily routines from the day that the procedures are done. Our primary treatments involve what we call endovenous laser, which involves putting a laser inside a vein to close the vein down. And we also do something called sclerotherapy. We'll inject a medication that causes the vein to close down. Among the challenges of varicose vein disease is the fact that it's progressive, which means that as time goes on, the veins themselves will get larger and you'll develop more and more branches off those stretched veins. What that translates into is that the sooner that we can identify the problem and treat the problem, the easier it is to get rid of that problem. One of the really beneficial parts of my job, and probably the most rewarding, is to see how people feel after their legs are treated. It's an amazing transformation to go from how they looked and felt beforehand, which was very restrictive, to how they look and feel afterwards, which is very liberating.